Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> I greet you according to your time zone. This is Nosaduk Ezeka, also known as Dr. Oguname. Today I want to share a very quick soul food with you. And this I title Stop Fighting Your Demons. <laughs> Stop fighting your demons. This is a very complicated topic to talk about. But like I always say, I don't speak to everybody. And uh, the people I always talk to are the special old souls. Old souls that their soul really needs to be nurtured. That their soul really needs this soul food to grow. To, to, to manifest even that secret mystery <laughs> that is hidden within them. These are really the type of people I'm talking to. So it's okay if my <laughs> tissues don't make sense to you. It's okay, I understand. It's not for everybody. But today's topic I title it as Stop Fighting Your Demons. <laughs> Why is it important? to stop resisting and fighting your demons. <laughs> Why is it important? I call it a very controversial and complicated topic because why? A lot of people, especially in Africa, a lot of people in Africa right now, yeah, I will use Africa because they are the most victim of all these stories. A lot of people in Africa right now have totally digested the lie that they have to always run from the demons and fight the demons and this is a very big concept of lies that was being pushed into them by the missionaries who first came into africans and don't forget that those missionaries that came to Africa to introduce the gospel, to introduce the so-called word of God, those missionaries, they were different strange spies. They were the ones who draw the map and everything that later take report back to their kings, which later send army to invade the poor people. <laughs> so those missionaries... We know now that they are lies. They all lie. Everything they told you was a lie. They just wanted to observe you people and study it, you know, like a survey. They were drawing a survey. So that's what we call trained spy. <laughs> they were trained spy, of course. But these Zen missionaries, they introduced to Africans demons and angels. The main reason they focused the introduction of demons to African was because they were so shocked that in African spiritual concept, although it was very complex for them to understand, so they preferred to bypass it because it was very, it was not just something they can just see and know. With all the documents they studied from ancient Egypt, they still found out that, ah, it is still very complex. So they just decided to start bringing out their own theories to make it easier for them. Okay, but the main reason the focus on this aspect of demonization, the main reason the focus on that aspect was to destroy the psyche of Africans, to let them know that Anything you are connected to spiritually, as long as it's not what we are presenting you, is evil and demonic. It was very strange. Some people felt very strange. They were very confused at the, at the, at the story. It was not making sense at all. <laughs> I mean, to the, early, to, the, to the ancient Africans, the new ones now, it makes sense to them because many were born into the lies also. So they don't really have option than to just follow what they see around them. So the, 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 new, the old ones that got the message, they never took it, they never believed it because they know this is bullshit, they know this is lies, they know this is not what they say because they can see what they see and you are just talking about what you can show. So that makes them know, ah, 
these people are not to be trusted. The wise one really rebelled against it. But what later happened? Because of the time and a lot of things that took place and took place, they succeeded in digesting that lie into the psyche of people that you have to fight your demons. They, they even went far to the point of explaining that demons are like the children of the Satan. Look at all, they are also the only one who is carrying Satan. <laughs> along with them because nothing like that was existing so they brought satan they brought demons they brought god they brought angels they brought all this <laughs> they brought all this story for you mm. okay no problem but what the faith although they did not fail they never ever have the attention so i need to be correcting myself because the difference between somebody hide something from you don't want to say to you and when somebody knowingly decides to deceive you, it's a very too big different thing. Yeah. So what they did not teach you is that which is recognized as demon. First, the word demon, just know this is their own words. But what they are trying to say when they say demon, this is like a spiritual entity. This is like a spiritual entity that is going around you sometimes. And many sometimes is just like floating around. So when they say you're a demon, you have to know that no demon can ever note this very well. No demon can ever, can ever invade your space and take over you. No demon do that. In fact, they don't even have the permission according to your re. Your re don't accept that. Your head don't accept that at all. So the demons you have right now, yeah, let's use the word demons. Those entities which they call now demons that you have right now was being created by your own self. So those demons are manifesting acts of your own self to challenge your own self. Let me break it down again and try and piece it more. That which you recognize as demon is a little fragment of your own self that is manifesting itself into a structure like an entity only to drag and pull your attention towards your own self. It means you are your own demon. So instead of fighting your demon, make friend with your demon and have a dialogue with your demon. Having a dialogue with your demon will boom, <laughs> will blow your mind. So when you are always fighting against your demon, what are you doing? You are rebelling against your own self. Some pastors beat your priest with the CV and say, come, let's cast away your demon. But do you know what they are doing? This is what they're doing. What they are doing is cutting out the cord of that that connects you to that entity which you give birth to by your own self. And cutting that cord, yes, it will make you feel like relief, lesser and free. But that relief, lesser and free is a complete emptiness that is just downgrading you spiritually. So don't ever be deceived when anybody say, I want to heal you or I want to take away your demons or things like that. No, 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 no. That's not the job of anybody. What the people should be doing, what that priest should be doing, what that uh, 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 pastor, reverend, bishop, whatever their name is, what they should be doing is to help you build a mutual relationship with your demon and come to a complete dialogue with your demon. Yes, many of you are so brainwashed and so programmed. You are scared of demon. I want to suck blood. You want to do bad. You want to do this. You want to do this. All those concepts you have is coming from TV shows, is come other fake African TV shows. 
is coming from others <laughs> low mentality mindset a, a, a church program that is a stage play and things like that that's all you know you yourself have never really been possessed of a demon so you have no personal experience of what a demon really look like some of you think you have gone through that process before but you are, you are not even aware of it so you cannot even use that as an excuse to talk or judge about the concept or discussion when it comes to demon you have to know that demon is your own self you are the one who is giving birth to this demon you are the one who bring them forth from your own self and it gets to a point where it was necessary for them to manifest outside of yourself that's why they did they did it not only to pull you down or weigh you down or give you problems or difficulties no they did it to also help you grow and know that in the process of spiritual growth there are challenges <laughs> they have challenges there are waves there are things that comes all these things is just to like test you to see how firm and sure you are so keeping firm keeping strong keeping your foot on the ground grounded that is what help you keep moving that is exactly what help you keep moving. So that comes at that idea of, ah, this is a demon, I have to fight it. This is a demon, I have to fight it. You have to start eliminating and deleting it from your mindset because your demon is your best friend. All you need is to make a dialogue with that which you recognize as your demon. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it is because uh, it's so easy to always push against everything it's, uh, it's so easy to always rebel everything it's so easy to always push out everything like ah, 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 I don't want it but that moment where you surrender and let stillness be the judge and the control of the moments and let everything unfold and manifest itself that moment right there is knowledge that moment right there is awareness that moment right there is power and that moment right there is the sacred key to open that secret door so don't let fear be the order of your day don't let fear be your god don't let fear be your king that rule over you. No. Put your fear under your feet and walk like a god and goddesses that you have. Know that no demon, no external demon can ever possess you or take over your own space. You are you. Always protect your psycho around. That's also very important. The only area, let's also make this clear. Yeah, so that doesn't look like you're driving people and you're not making the picture clear. The only area an entity, when I say entity, I mean foreign and strange entity, can ever take over your own space is when you invoke ancient <laughs> demons or things like that. It's when you invoke them and you don't have the necessary sacrifice or the necessary things in place to balance and digest it then they can possess you also with the permission of course but let's just say it so. then they can possess you just your own normal demons that come around with you these are your own best friends these are your own colleagues these are these are entities that want to partner with you and you don't have to run from it a lot of people even get so brainwashed to the <laughs> a lot of people even get so brainwashed to the point that they even tell them oh man and Jay is a bad thing you see many people hey 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 oh man, oh man, Jay, oh man Jay, they're running here yeah, running there for deliverance that's stupidity that's stupidity all those your stupid uh, African movies you always watch all those crazy people standing and preaching that lies to you they are destroying they, they, they have damaged your brain they have damaged your brain you that is a spirit 
you that is not from here, <laughs> you that is not from here, then you now are, are, are scared of a spiritual friends, are scared of a spiritual relationship, and you don't know that you are not even a human. So just because now you are driving this body, just because now you are driving, you are, you, you are a ghost who is on a ride. And the body is the car you're riding now. So you, because you are not driving this body, and sometimes it happens that you not see your friends or your soul, uh, your soul tribes or your soul family who, who, who have not manifested in flesh. Maybe they come to visit you or things like that. And then you are scared you want to run from them. Is that not stupidity? Because how long do you think you can run? Because I guess you can even live on earth even if your so-called God give you long life. It's 100 years. Let's say life is so sweet, 120, even say 120, you're already tired <laughs> because you're always poisoned. Your water, your food, everything is poisoned. So if you even make it to 100, clap for yourself. Many of you, it's 80, 70. <laughs> it's 80, 70. Yeah. So imagine now, 0 to 80 years. You know what is 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's eight, eight decades. Eight decades is just like two seconds. <laughs> two seconds for we are no sir. We'll keep the we'll keep that aside. <laughs> we'll keep that aside. But what I'm trying to say is that it's a very stupid thing to hold on to a life that has an aspiring date and try to run from a life that is forever. So don't let people be lying and deceiving you. This is even the time now. You just have to be waking up. No time to digest those lies again and avoid all these toxic messages. Don't just sit on YouTube hours and watch all those toxic movies or watch all those toxic programs or watch toxic people, saga or no saga. Those things are damaging your soul. The more you pay attention to all those toxic things, the more your soul is having damage. And the damage you are causing your soul eh, can take you like two or three lifetimes to fix and heal. So what we are talking about is not just something, uh, no. <laughs> mm. You will see it. <laughs> you will see it. But what I really want to share so quick, because like I said, it's a very fast of food, is stop fighting your demons and know that your demons are your best friends. So what you need is not to rebel against them, what you need is a dialogue. Start, start trying the dialogue and see what I'm saying. Don't be scared. <laughs> Just try. Make the dialogue. <laughs> make the dialogue. If you want to know more about how to make dialogues with your demons, contact me. Yes. First, we will know which of the demons you carry. <laughs> then we'll see how you can make dialogues with them. <laughs> so always know that there is option for everything. And you... You have a lot of option because you are a God and goddesses. Don't let them trap you in this illusion. What you see around you now as this life is nothing but an illusion. An illusion that is reflecting a long past illusion. So it's a illusional geometric cycle. The more you look, the more deeper it is and the more it's all illusions. So... You have to stop it. Stop it does not mean kill yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. It means expanding your awareness and being conscious of your moments. That helps you filter. Yes, it's like a filter. It's it's clayed apart, and then you can see it through. It's not something you do one day you get it. It's an habit you adopt all of your life Man, one of the reasons many people are so quick to be into religion is religion makes you makes you weak religion makes you weak ah the god is there you do everything you pray everything then you take care of everything then you're weak spirituality a lot of people always run from it because of the strict discipline 
it gives you a strict discipline. Even when you fell out of the track, you will just laugh your own self because you know, oh, oh, <laughs> I have to go back to the track. It can happen. It's okay also. It's okay. If, if everybody tell you they never fall out sometimes from the track, it's a lie. The most important thing, you are aware of it and you go back to the track again. So that was my spirituality, most sacred. It's, it's something you practice and you keep on carrying. It's not a, a Sunday thing. It's not a one program. You go and you get it. Or you, you just pray, you kneel down and say, thank you, thank you, God, thank you. No, 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 no. That is a psychological relief to make you think all is perfectly well. And because you think that, then you feel, oh my God, give me freeness, I'm okay. No, 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 no. You are lying to yourself. That's what they call it. That's why they call it belief. In religion, you believe. And the word belief comes from the word be lie. To lie to your own self. Ah, you will make heaven, I will make heaven. Yes, you are lying to your own self. Because you don't have any awareness of what you are talking about at all. What you have is faith. Belief. Not knowing. So it's a very quick soul food. Like I always say, these teachings are not for everybody. I thank you all that is sharing the message. I thank you all that is giving compliments through Facebook and uh, emails and everything. I thank you all. I welcome you all once again to Africa Ancestral Spiritual Ministry. Always keep on following our page, share the video for the old soul food that is starving for the starvation of the soul to get it. This is for them. This is for us. <laughs> I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye for now. Don't forget your demo is your best friend. Yes, that's how it is. Mm-hmm.